John King first brawl post fight at Cage Warriors 84 alongside the victorious Craig White. The thunk, th uh, Thundercats back at it. Yep. Um, second Cage Warriors winning a row and equally impressive. Are you happy with that? Definitely happy with it. Um, wasn't the result I expected. I was saying to Hacken in the uh, medical room that I expected to go three five minute rounds. Yeah. He did as well. If I'm honest, it's kind of a bit of an anti climax. I don't yeah. feel like I got going. No, like discredit to Hacken because he's a great fighter yeah. um, and I was really excited to fight him. But feel fine. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was hoping by the end of that I'd be like, oh, fucking knackered. All the hard work I've put in. Um, I'm working full time now, whereas last time I fought Tom Robertson, I'd had a bit of time off work, so I was able to train full time. This time I've had to fit it around, so it's good to know that I can still compete to this level whilst managing a full time job, which the excellent support they've given me um, and they've allowed me to be able to progress in this a bit more. Um, it's just great to have. Yeah. I mean, of course, last time you were in a bit of a war back and forth, you were caught, there was a lot of blood. As you said, it's a bit of an anti-climax, but thinking about it in the long run of your career, probably for the best, yeah? Yeah, in the long run, I mean, I'm fine. I could fight quite soon again, but I mean, to be honest, like, my life's been on hold for the last six to eight weeks. Yeah. Um, so really, I just want to get, having a bit of life, catch up my friends. Yeah. Sometimes I'm a girlfriend, she's a bit pissed off at me for having to train so much, so <laughs> quite rightly so. Um, and hopefully I want to be back in on September, October show. Yeah. Um, on a, obviously on a cage race show, um, and I'm eager to see who they want to put me up against. And like I said before, I'm happy to fight anyone, so. Yeah. There's a lot of moments, man, you know, there was after the last, the last one, because it was a very exciting fight and you pulled out the win. But this one, you kind of showed that you're not just an underdog that can battle through you, you've got skills and you can go out there and walk through somebody. Do you feel like that performance demonstrates like how good you are? I think that performance demonstrates the level I can fight to. Yeah. Um, I think that I'm yet to show everyone my full potential and my full skill. Um, but I think everyone's like that. It's quite yeah. difficult to channel everything you've put into training. Like my game plan didn't necessarily work out. I tried work and it didn't have to adapt, improvise and overcome as you do. Yeah. Um, but I think that makes a good statement on where I am, what I want to achieve. Um, and I hope that it gets some credit and gets taken notice of. I'm not just here to get bumped up onto the main card last minute. I'm a main card fighter. I love opening up the cage Royal show. I'd rather be opening the show than a co-main event. I love knowing I'm fighting at night and I love telling people that I'm the first yeah. fight you're gonna see. Yeah. I love putting on a show for the crowd. I've never had a cheer like that on a away show and I fought in London a few times now. I mean, that's almost as loud a cheer as I get on a home show. So yeah. it's great to have the support. I've got people at home watching that watch like number nine, local pub that sponsors me and stuff. They've probably got a full pub now. And if they didn't, people have missed out. Yeah, of course. Uh, speaking to Lou Long off camera there, he said, you and him had a deal, like if you pick up one, he gets you a pair of socks. Have you got, got, got anything in mind? Um, yeah, well, I was in Asda about a month ago and I saw some Sonic the Hedgehog socks that <laughs> I didn't get, but I wish I did. So I'm going to have to go look around on eBay, I think, yeah. and try to find some cool socks for Lou to get. But we just have this sock obsession. We've got a weird relationship now after training together for a while. Yeah. But I think that's what works quite well. I'm the nearest weight weight of this level to him, with the exception of like Aaron Callan and some people in his gym. Yeah. I have, in the nearest area to me, I have Shay Mills, I've got Lou. Obviously, I was training with Lou, couldn't train with Shay. Yeah. Um, but the relationship I've built up with Lou, like my gym, his gym, we got on really well together. So it's a relationship that will keep going forward and we can work together effectively. Yeah. You probably know more about socks than me, but is there a such thing as like taller socks to show you your beautiful painted nails? <laughs> Um, I'm not sure, I think flip-flops just work as well, if not, I just wear barefoot, so. Yeah. But my girlfriend is very stylish, I've even got a little heart on one of them this time, so, you know, I think it's just that. Lucky man. Luck. Yeah, very good man. Uh, what, you, you said you want to be on September, October, I think they got a, a Liverpool show um, in October. Yeah. Is there any opponent in mind, or whoever uh, you get Honestly, I'm not bothered, I just want to turn up and fight, like, yeah. like I said, I would happily have maybe fought Inman um, tonight, but obviously he had Wheeler, so, um, that's a fight potentially for the future, but I never expected to get off at Hack and Foss. I, I'm sure, I, like you said, I was the underdog. My friends have made money on me because I was the underdog yeah. on BetSafe, so I'm quite happy to go in, fight whoever, whether I'm the underdog, whether I'm the one who's got the better odds, whatever, I don't care. I'm yeah. just here to fight. I've been in the sport 10 years now. I've been competing at Pro for like eight going on nine years. Yeah. And maybe I'm finally getting the momentum I need to get to where I want to be, but I don't even know what that is at the moment. I just yeah. love turning up, fighting, People who I train with that support me, I do this for them. Like the support I get from my friends and family, um, local area is brilliant. It's starting to catch on, um, especially in the, like down in the southwest. We've got Exit Chiefs who won yeah. the Viva Premiership. 
people would have thought that seven years ago and I'll look at them and I was there last week and it was awesome so yeah. hopefully the success we've got in the southwest will keep going and people start taking notice yeah. do you think uh, you know certainly from my point of view there's kind of like there's a jump up in, in kind of like the UK and me welterweight scene and our most weight classes it goes from guys kind of prelim fighters and open the main card like you are now no offence yeah. to the Matt Inmans and the yeah. Brad Wheelers do you think you're that level now? I think I am yeah I think yeah. Like I said, I've not had a chance to fully showcase my skills. Yeah. I get a bit of momentum. I make a silly mistake or I take a fight on stupid notice and I lose. Um, again, like you get caught, fought Mike Shipman last year. Yeah. I gave up a fair bit of weight on that. That's what helped me realise to go down from middleweight back to welter. Um, and it's those kind of experiences which help mould you as a fighter. Yeah. Um, but I would hope that this has now put me up the rankings. Like I think when I looked yesterday, I was number 40. But you've got people with no discredit to like Shane Mills. The only person to beat in the last nine fights is Leroy Barnes. Yeah. That's not a top 15 welterweight, in my opinion. Like, yeah. no, again, no discredit. He's achieved a lot. I've got great admiration for Shane Mills, but the ranking sometimes a load of shit. Yeah. But that side, I'm definitely at the level where I can compete with the top guys. I'm on the promotion, which allowed me to do that. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. What's next? Uh, got any plans tonight to celebrate? Um, go see my girlfriend, see my friends probably go through my phone that's still buzzing in my pocket right now it's really okay. annoying um, have some drinks and then I've got a few busy weekends again Butlins in three weeks so I'm going to make the most of that then a phone number before I go anyone any sponsors you want to give a shout out to um, just these guys so I've got number nine just saying Rockatronics that's just Ruth and Lone Hygienist and then always on the back my gym me which is the most important one and Blueberry Nutrition and my work who have supported me don't know if you see it but Strawberry Investments Great support, guys. Thank you very much. Hope you all enjoyed it. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice one.